Doug Wright here, construction manager for Denver Water, uh, coming to you from downstream of Gross Dam at the Gross Reservoir Expansion Project. Uh, behind me, you'll see the old dam. We're working on the foundation, excavation, grouting, getting this structure ready for next season's dam raise with the roller compacted concrete. The new dam starts at the bottom of the valley and comes up in steps. Each step comes up four feet, steps back two, up four, back two, and through 118 steps, we come up to the top of the new dam. So the new dam is 471 feet tall, 131 feet above the top of the dam that you can see behind me. So this is the bottom of the dam. Now we're gonna take you to another location on our site where we're gonna show you how we're preparing to raise the dam next season. We moved back from the dam here to the full-scale trial placement. This is where we practice all the techniques and use the materials that we use to raise the dam. It's 15 feet tall, 50 feet wide, over 200 feet long. The major component of that is roller compacted concrete. Let me walk you through the steps how to place this roller compacted concrete dam. First, we put up forms and the forms are the short walls that we use to contain the concrete in the shape of the steps. Next step, concrete delivered from the batch plant is filled into each of these track dump trucks. Next, what you'll see is the dump truck dumps the load. Notice the material as it leaves the dump body, how the mix is stiff and dry, uh, looking like a pile of gravel, but actually strong RCC concrete. Next, you'll see the small bulldozer pushing that mound of delivered concrete in a 12-inch layer across the top of the roller compacted concrete surface. Behind the bulldozer, you'll see a pair of rollers come in and compact the concrete. Uh, but then after that layer is smoothed out, then we turn on the vibration of the roller, and then that further compacts the concrete. So the main benefits of the roller compacted concrete technique is the speed with which these layers can be put in, and then the speed that the dam can be raised. Uh, provides a high quality construction and also meets all of the design objectives. Uh, the roller compacted concrete technique is really the most modern contemporary way to build a concrete dam. I wanted to give you a different look now that the forms have been removed. This is what the downstream face of the dam is going to look like. Four foot high step, two foot in, four foot up, continuing to the top of the dam. The timeline for the project begins next spring, 2024. First raise of the dam from the bottom of the valley up roughly to the top of the existing dam. Second season, 2025, takes us from the top of the existing dam to the new crest elevation. Final work on the top of the dam ends in 2026. By 2027, we'll be ready to start taking water into the reservoir. We showed you a lot today. For more information about this project, go to our website, grossreservoir.org.